swing pass. I never ordered Chipotle online either. Oh, uh, no, you don't do that. That's a, that is a cardinal sin. You are asking to get ripped off. It's a Wyatt Wednesday on this October 23rd, 2024. Nick Verzlini, Colin McLaughlin here on the show. We're now joined by Shepard Rams offensive lineman Wyatt Pelicano. Wyatt, how's it going? It's absolutely amazing. You know, it's the same as always. Great day to be alive. And it's game week in Shepherdstown. A lot to be excited about. It's a big one. Good town on the road this week. Always a tough challenge. Uh, what are you seeing? Just We'll just jump right into Kutztown, I guess, or maybe look back at last week a little bit. But uh, just what are you excited about for this week's game? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's, uh, there's a whole bunch to be excited about. I feel like, first off, uh, every, every game in conference kind of feels like a rivalry game. Um, obviously, ship is one that we, that we hold close to heart. Uh, but as far as, like, competitive – rivalries go in the in the last five years um or at least the teams that i've been a part of uh like kutztown is kutztown is uh kutztown is the biggest one by far you know so that's one that we got to take very seriously uh we're all excited for that and um and yeah i mean it's it's just it's, it's a big game you know we show up they travel well when they come play us we travel very well when we go play them so um, it's it's exciting, you know. It's exciting for us. It's a great environment to play football in, and we know that they're going to be uh, they're going to be a tough team for us. Obviously, seven and zero, very good season for them. They're a good team, um, but we it, it's always a competitive game, and it's college football. Anybody can win any time, so we're excited to go in there and uh, and try to steal one. Looking forward to it. However, before we get more into next week's game, I'm going to. Go back to last week's game uh, win on uh, home turf against Millersville. Homecoming as well, so nice to get a win in that aspect. But what were your overall takeaways from that game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that we did a good job of, um, like at least from speaking as offensive linemen, you know, I think we did a good job of operating and handling the game plan that, that we had uh, set out to do, which is control the line of scrimmage. Um, they they have a very talented D-line. They're a good team. Uh, I know the record may not show it, but there's not really a lot of bad football teams in the PSAC anymore. Um, so they, they came out and played a competitive game. They play hard. They're coached well. Uh, and, and that D-line is probably, I'd say, one of the stronger sides of, of that football team. So uh, it was a big point of emphasis for us going in to make sure that we were able to um, handle business up front, win the line of scrimmage, uh, especially with the three down front that they, that they gave us. Uh, even though we did, they, they got into a four a little bit uh, to, to stack the box late, but we were able to still handle business and uh, move bodies, uh, get the running backs loose. And we saw, we saw like Powell sling it a little bit. Cam Dorner got in the box twice. A whole lot of people got in the end zone. So, I mean, it's always a good day when that, when that happens. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was it's homecoming, man. It felt good. All the alums were back. Uh, got to see some of the guys that you don't get to usually see. Uh, shout out my man, Eric Ostro. Uh, he was out there on the sidelines giving me some tips and stuff. So, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's always nice to win that. Uh, it's good to see everybody. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good day. It was a good day for us. And why you guys were down 14 nothing in that game and then – rally to outscore them 35-7 the rest of the game. Did you feel like with that adversity that you guys faced that maybe you learned something about your team? Um, yeah, I mean, I've, you know, I've been doing this long enough now that it, uh, you know, it takes, it takes more than, than, a, than a couple touchdowns out the gate to, to get me discouraged. Um, I know that it takes a, a full 60-minute performance uh, in, order to, in order to beat the Shepherd Rams. And, uh, we, yeah, I mean, so I, I never really had a doubt uh, last week, obviously that can get you in trouble in situations like Westchester and stuff. But there is such a thing as being too calm. Um, but last week was not one of those times we were able to bounce back. Everybody was doing what they were supposed to do. Uh, but yeah, it, it is uh, obviously it's always good to handle adversity. Um, that probably wasn't a team that we should have opened up like that against. So in that sense, being able to bounce back is obviously always a good thing. But we need to, uh, we still need to be better about getting out starting fast um and being able to to not let to not let good teams that'll be able to keep us down and make us pay for that lead 
you know what I mean, do that to us. So uh, obviously there's always to learn, always stuff to learn from, and that was a big point of emphasis for us as a, across the board, you know, is uh, starting faster. So, but yeah, I think I think that we're hopefully going to learn our lesson from that and and imply that into into this week going forward, you know. Very physical game last week as well. Had a few injuries. I know during the game you were a little banged up and off air. Told me that you're fortunately all good now, ready to go for this week. But with last week, it had to be kind of that next man up mentality. And that's been a uh, theme, it seems like, for this offensive line of you guys this year with numerous injuries. But how comforting is it to know that you can have that next man up mentality because of the guys in the room around you? Yeah, uh, that is uh, that is very comforting. You know, it's it's something that's good to see. It has been, unfortunately, it's been a common theme for us throughout the year. Um, it's a good thing when your team is capable of having that mentality. Uh, it's something that we take pride in as a program at Shepherd. We've talked about it. You know, Coach Cook has made that a huge point of emphasis over my five years. Um, so it is a good thing to have in the program, but it's one of those things. It's like having a great punter. You know what I mean? It's like it's great to have, but you don't really want to use them. You know, so it, you don't you don't really want to use that mentality. But it is it's good to have, and it is reassuring. That said, I thought Jaden Perez went out there and did a hell of a job, and uh, knowing knowing that he can go in there and handle business is definitely uh, reassuring for for me and for you know the coaches and trainers, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is definitely helpful, and that is a mentality we take pride in. Um, but it has definitely – it's definitely affected us this season. Wyatt, what are you seeing uh, from Kutztown in terms of personnel and scheme this year? Yeah, uh, they're uh, pretty much a lot of the same they've always been. They, they have some um, – you know, I mean, they're obviously, it, it's not that it's it's poorly coached. They have some stunts and some stuff, that, some pressures that they that they have in the playbook. But for the most part, they are uh, relying on, on the talent. They're, they're a line it up and let's let's play ball kind of a ball club, which I respect. You know, it, it's, um, it, it makes it a fun game. It makes it a physical game. Uh, they're going to give us some, most likely we're thinking a four down, um, but they typically have played out of a three down in the past. They got some big bodies up front, uh, so it, it, it could look a little bit similar to how the trench battle looked last week against Millersville. Um, I think a lot of the team success is going to rely on us in the trenches being able to get a push and win the line of scrimmage and keep them off left for as long as we can. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, they're, they're definitely a very good team. They're a very talented team. There's a reason that they are the record they are, you know, and uh, – we're we're going to do everything we can to prepare against that. But yeah, it's uh, it's not a whole lot fancy from them. It's never been anything really fancy from them. They uh, it, like I said, they're just a hard nosed team. They're a well coached team um, that that is going to go out there and play to their strengths and and do the little things right and and play very hard. You know, and, and so that's 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 our our keys to beat this week. Just to kind of add on to your point there and how much of an importance it is in those aspects because of the impressive defense they have. They lead the conference in sacks, I believe. Uh, It looks like they are also top defense in holding teams, uh, scoring points per game. So with that all being said, going into this game, you guys are clearly the underdogs in a a lot of people's minds. I know not really in your mind, you never count yourselves out, but going into that, how do you make sure you channel that aspect and feed off of the uh, doubt, I guess, from others? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's something that Coach McCook brought up in our our Sunday meeting uh, post-Millersville when we were were burying the Millersville tape and and moving on to this week. Um, It's how rarely uh, we are we are like undoubtedly the underdog going into a game, and this is this is one of those weeks. Um, and I think it does fuel the fire. You know, uh, I talk on here all the time about, and I'm sure Coach McCook does too with you guys, like the the expectation to win, the the winning culture at Shepherd uh, that we believe in. And like you said, man, I mean, it's it, if if they breathe oxygen, it's fair game. I really I really have us against 
anybody else in this division. Um, I, I just so all of that being said, yes, like we we go in, we're, we're ready to play. You know, there's no doubt, um, there's no thought that we can't do it. There's no thought that they have us um, or that they're more talented than us or, or that they work harder than us. It, it's not even it's not even a thought that crosses the, our mind. You know, uh, we're we're all ready to go. Um, you're going to see a very prepared team that travels up to Cookstown on Saturday because we know that this every game from here on out is uh, is a championship game for us. You know, so uh, for for the dudes that are in my situation, that is this is the last season. This is the last go. Um, we're we're playing like it. You know, um, so it, it's um, that's where we're at. That's how we're looking at it. And I think that the fact that um, we aren't picked to win this game by anybody. It, it only it only does it only does what everybody thinks it's going to do. It, it only fuels us. Uh, we want this win bad. We know we're capable of this win. Um, so we're we are preparing to go in there and handle business and, and come out with it. All right, kind of a uh, different kind of question for you this week. A fun question for you, but still football related. Um, if the skills and the linemen were to switch positions, what would be your your skill position? Okay. All right. So I've actually I've I've been asked this before. Um, so I believe that offensive linemen and defensive backs are the most similar positions on the field. Um, so, and obviously there's a lot that goes into that. I think that down to technique there are similarities, as crazy as that may sound. Um, but a lot of it is like you're you're it's reacting and it's and it's the concept of like. If if you're getting if you're a DB and the ball gets thrown at you, you can come away with an interception. That's the one difference between that and offensive line because you can have something, you can produce something good for your team. Whereas the offensive lineman, like if I'm getting pass rushed by a nine technique and I'm on the island, like I'm really fighting for my life. And even if I do my job to a T, we could still turn the ball over. Uh, someone else could give up a sack. You know what I mean? So it's like the concept of just like fighting to survive it, it's for the program better like that part of it i think i really enjoy um so i would probably say defensive back would be mine uh but yeah dude there's there, there, it's a lot of fun you know obviously being a lineman like we all everybody's got dreams i'm sure a lot of a lot of dudes are we're gonna beat me up later over this because they're gonna want me to have said running back or wide receiver or something with the ball something fancy but uh nah man i got a lot of respect for those dudes that battle in coverage because i know that it's a it's a thankless job um, and I admire that. So I, I think that that would be probably where I would want to go. Interesting. I could kind of see now the skills kind of transitioning a little bit. Yeah, I, a lot of it, it comes off like if you're playing press, right? Like cause I was talking to Coach Clark about this the other day. Uh, like if you're playing press and a wide receiver gives you a jab outside release, right? Like you can't chase the tail of the route because then you'll never catch them. You'll get stacked immediately. It's all about backing straight up taking the cutoff angle to close ground the, the, where there's less room. It's very similar to, like, if I line up and a dude is head up on me, but he knows he's got me one-on-one, hits me with a jab step inside and goes back outside, I have to kick straight vertical. If I try to chase him back outside, he's going to bend the edge on me and probably beat me with speed because I'm not as fast as these cats. So it's just like, it, it, it really is, it's funny how, how similar that they can be. But, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and like I said, dude, I got, like, Jody Tolbert, Clay Batten, Tay, all of those guys, uh, Tay, Deontay Harrison, I got, I got, or Dante Harrison, I got all their names. Um, yeah, like all those dudes, man, Miles Greer, I have the utmost respect for those cats because I know, I know how thankless of a job that can be. And it's also like DBs and O-line, it's, that, it's the thanklessness of it. You know, like if uh, it, they're, they're position groups, I forget a famous coach said it, but it's like if they're doing their jobs well, you'll never know that they're there. You know what I mean? Like, if they're doing the job right, you won't even realize it. You'll just thank and praise the dudes that deserve it, the, the defensive linemen for getting to the quarterback because there's no one to throw the ball to. Or if you're thanking the wide receivers because they're catching the ball or the running backs because they're running through wide open holes. So it, in that aspect of it, it's just it feels like it's the right spot where I would want to go. All right. Well, Shepard rotates a lot of, on defense, so maybe we'll see you playing some Travis Hunter. A little bit of I'm offense, a little boys, bit of corner. You boys have, uh, you boys have met Coach Wright. I don't think there's any chance he would even he would even <laughs> flirt with that idea. All right, man. Well, appreciate the time. <laughs> I'll make sure Nick Absolutely. puts a word in when he gets there today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try for you. No.
I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. By Pelcano, Shepard Rams offensive lineman and soon to be defensive back. This is the Sports Mix.